Venezuela. And for Venezuela, John Cox was the story. He scored 12 of their 18 points. No one else could score. DeAndre Jordan. But the ball moved right here. High screen and roll. Clay Thompson. He didn't hold it for long. Cross court. Great seal inside by DeAndre Jordan. And when he gets the ball down there, not much you can do. Beating the shot clock is Nestor Colmenares. No arc on the shot. It looked like Vargas walked there on that yes, play. Yes, it did. Instead, he gets the shot. It's well off. I'm with you. That looks like a travel. A lot of the United States shots miss the rim on the short jumper, but disrupts that pass attempt. DeRozan to the rim. Left hand is good for DeMar DeRozan. Seven. Yes. Wow. So the rest of the team not as not as good. <laughs> uh, two of 27 by my math. That'll fall. Exhibition games. It's almost like the preseason in the NBA, where after the you know the, the, the fifth or sixth game, you're ready for the real games to start. Thompson leaks out for the easy two. K really emphasizes his communication, talking, almost over talking, particularly on defense. We haven't really seen that here. Uh, at the end of the first half and start of the second half. No, it's been literally and figuratively a quiet night for the United States so far. Cousins is back in there. Jordan exited in that substitution. We had a foul before DeMar DeRozan could do something spectacular at the back end. Points. We got a lot of point guards in the NBA that right now that can score the ball. They were really naturally twos when they was in college, and now they did turn into ones in the pros, and they can score the basketball. How, how are the Chicago fans treating you so far tonight? To control the clock, control tempo, and uh, and obviously be effective on both ends of the floor. But you got to hit shots like that. Vargas could not connect. Jose Vargas for three. That'll fall. Still down by 23 here in the final moments of the third quarter. Mello to Cousins might have traveled again. That one was not called. The 25-point lead. Final seconds here of the third quarter. Vargas poked free by Irving. Butler around the back. He'll pull up for three at the buzzer. And it's short like so many other shots tonight for the. Here's Durant. Big step. And that's a goaltend. As it was knocked away off the rim by Colmenares. And I don't know if he needed to go to him. It looked like he was going to miss it. It was going to be short anyway. Like the ball might have slipped out of Durant's hands. Energy tonight of eliminating any sort of potential highlight for the United States whenever possible. There's Vargas and one. Jose Vargas with a strong move off the glass and good for the 34 year old veteran of 39 games with the Venezuelan senior team going back to 2007. First foul on Kevin Durant. Harrison Barnes wears number eight, brings it up to the United States. Open floor ahead of him, tried the lob to Cousins, just not, not in sync and high over Cousins' head. Turnover for the United States and back. Uh, yes, you do. They got a lot of stuff. <laughs> You have the inside stuff. Oh, there you go. A promotional opportunity <laughs> for Grand Hill. Cross court. High off the glass. No good. Kept alive by Ruiz. And finally it goes for Dwight Lewis. Nicely done. Falling into poverty in Venezuela. They'll be cheering on their team regardless of the results. And reason to cheer for the U.S. fans now with Jordan. Trailing the play and throwing it down on the break. DeAndre Jordan waking up the crowd here in Chicago. We expected a lot more of that here tonight. <laughs> Payback. That'll affect the franchise. Oh, yeah. Lowry to Barnes. He couldn't quite get a clean handle on, but eventually lacked flow offensively. Echenique lost it. Off the post, but the U.S. gives it right back to Vargas. Vargas to Echenique, hard to the rim, and a good finish by the big fella. That's his first bucket. Two points for the former Creighton Blue Jay. Clay Thompson in transition. Town as Harrison Barnes airballs his, his pull-up jump shot. You shoot 39% from the field, and you're up by 30. Cox has it wiped away by Jordan. That's an off uh, goaltend on Jordan, who disagrees with the call. Ruling was that it had touched the backboard first. And Jordan just looked over at us and said, I got that. I don't know, Mr. Jordan. That looked like a good call right there.
Draymond Green out of the post on the smaller Vargas spins and finishes. They played an opponent that wasn't up to up to speed. And Somehow tossed that back to Jimmy Butler. What a play by Lowry. Wow. And a finish by the hometown Chicago Bull, Jimmy Butler. Off on the three, up against the shot clock. Back comes the U.S. United States plus 26 in the paint. This will be from outside. It's Thompson stroking it from three. Clay now three of seven from the great beat. Vargas guarded by Lowry. Got past him, threw it away. Thompson ahead. Here comes to Margaret Rosen. Windmill. DeMar Rosen gave us a little preview of what he's capable of on Tuesday night when he missed on an attempted 360 dunk when he was fouled. Wide open floor from the mayor to Rosen. The two time Rosen gave us a little preview of what he's capable of. 80 to 45. The United States finally did climb up on 40% shooting, 42.4 to be exact. But just four of 25 from three point range. It was a grind all night long. But the red, white, blue move to 4 0 on their exhibition schedule with a date in Houston against Nigeria coming up on Monday. We'll be back from Chicago to wrap it up after this. Four of 25 from three point range and just 42% on the night overall. But they win it 80 to 45. Next stop, Houston against Team Nigeria on Monday night.